Welcome back, Plymouth North. We hope you've had a safe and productive winter season. Today, we will take a peek into the unique challenges freshmen had to face while transitioning from middle school into high school. Next, we'll explore how the football team will tackle the changes to their regular season. Finally, we will see how North's newest teachers are adjusting to the unique experience of the hybrid learning model. Get ready, Plymouth North. It's time, time for PNN. PNN.
Good morning, Pullman North. I'm Andrew Melville. And I'm Caroline Richards. Adjusting to high school is already a struggle for most students. Socializing and finding new extracurriculars has always been a unique experience for freshmen. But this year in particular makes the warm welcome into high school a little bit colder. Jamie and Christian give us insight into how freshmen have managed to transition into high school during COVID-19. The transition from 8th grade to freshman year is hard enough from the increased workload, attempting to meet new people, and intimidation of the big school. This has brought even more hardships for the class of 2024 for missing out on such an important year. Very general sense, they didn't have a normal transition. They were, they were eighth graders and they had the end of their eighth grade year taken from them and the beginning of their ninth grade year through now sort of taken so that they're in this very, very different model. So wrapping their heads around how to be successful in this in this circumstance has been a real challenge for a lot of freshmen, like it would be for any freshman who are just learning self-advocacy skills, independence, time management. With lack of in-person school time and not learning time management skills yet, compared to a normal school year, it can be tough with all these new classes and assignments. It was kind of weird because we went from having like no work last year because in middle school we didn't have like any online classes. I had one Google Meet during COVID. With COVID-19 protocols changing constantly, students are forced to adapt to the new SLT days, remote Monday schedules, and fear of going fully remote as we did in early January. I don't mind remote Mondays. I think they go by pretty fast. So, and I think my teachers do a good job with them using like breakout rooms. Another key element at Plymouth North is the social aspect. With only seeing half of your grade two days a week due to the different cohorts, it can be very different to socialize in person for things such as eating lunch in the cafeteria, joining clubs, or even playing sports. Just not seeing that same level of connectivity between, you know, person to person. There's like, I mean, just with like the six feet and then the mask, it just makes social interactions just so much different. It's been pretty tough to socialize since the desk or further apart, you can't really talk in class. It's harder to talk with, uh, sit with the people you want to at lunch. And overall, it's just harder to socialize with everybody else. Other grades can sympathize with the freshman class since they believe it is the most important year to establish themselves at North. I think like after school activities and sports, team dinners and stuff, it's a good experience that I'll have, like very memorable for me, that um, I think it's kind of stinks that the freshmen don't uh, have team dinners and stuff like that, bond with their teammates. Mr. J does believe, however, that they will rise above this and overcome these tough times. Yeah, I think that despite this being a very difficult year, you guys are, you probably don't hear enough that you're doing a, a good job. You're making it and, and, and that school is a great place for you and that we're here to help you. And if there's things that, if there's things that you need help with, whether it's academics or something else, just getting through, you know, just getting through the work week, we can provide some of that help. If you Although this was a difficult transition year for this year's freshman class, hopefully in the future, they will have a normal high school experience. Reporting for PNN, I'm Jamie Keep. Thanks, Jamie and Christian. The PNN team wishes the class of 2024 the best with their future endeavors. We know you'll fly high. After much anticipation, the Plymouth North football season has finally begun, but not without some unusual challenges. Where sports go, COVID-19 rules and regulations follow. Rowdy crowds and themed games are the heart and soul of high school football. In a normal year, the Obery Street elite packs the bleachers to cheer on the Eagles. During Friday Night Lights, the crowd's liveliness can be felt throughout Plymouth. Due to the changes brought on by the pandemic this year, fans will have to watch from afar. American's hometown has seen a big change this year within sports in the community. One of the biggest changes this season is how the fall season was split into two seasons instead of one. Football was held off until the fall two season, which began in late February. We have a policy in place where we're going to look at wind chill temperatures and, you know, really when the temperature dips below 30 degrees and if the wind chills are under 25, you know, that, that's, there's not a lot of reason to be outside at that point. So we're going to think long and hard. Um, and if we have to shorten practices, we will. And if we have to move game times, we will. Listen, there, there's no reason to be out there when, you know, we have subarctic temperatures because that only promotes cold weather injury and we won't put our athletes in those positions. One of the things that I'm planning on doing for a practice is you know, we, especially early in the year when we're doing a lot of the installation and brand new stuff, we'll, we'll start out inside and then, you know, do our warm ups inside and be outside, be active, you know, be energetic and be moving so we're not getting cold. Although there has not been alterations to the gameplay, the MIAA guidelines state 
the players are required to social distance, wear masks, and sanitize. In addition, there are only 45 varsity players allowed to be on the sidelines on a Friday night. The gameplay is going to be football. Everything's going to be what it is. So you know, we kind of kind of have some of the other sports to thank for that. So the, the great thing about having football in the winter now is that we've gone through two seasons, right? We've done we've done the fall. We've had a winter season, and both have been successful. The modifications for football are primarily in regards to number of players on the surface and uh, social distancing, right? So we really haven't changed the game at all. The, the game of football is going to be the game of football. I feel really good, and, and I think the parents and, and our, our athletes should feel really good about where we're headed with this. Though a cold and empty fan section isn't what was predicted for this football season, the players and coaches are excited and thankful that the season will be held. Like, it's just a given that we're going to have a Thanksgiving Day game. It's a given that we're going to have these exciting Friday nights. And when that's all taken away, you really appreciate the, the little privileges that you get in your life. And, you know, for me and the kids that play, football is that excitement, that privilege. And it, Okay, it felt sort of like we were being gypped of what was supposed to be the best season of our lives, really. But, I mean, we could have been gypped of the entire thing and not have gotten the experience at all to play football and how much that means to us. So it, it's great to have anything. Well, I would just say, like, there's no sense in being um, pessimistic about it because we're really getting, we're getting blessed, if anything, that we can even have what we have. So we should just look at the upsides and be grateful for what we got. I'm just excited to play. That's it. I, I'm excited to have a season and uh, see how we do and um, just ball out for one last season. The varsity football team has a lot to adjust to, and Plymouth North is excited to watch them, even from home. Reporting for PNN, I'm Karen Fan. Thank you, Karen and Kaylee. Although students are unable to support our Blue Eagles in the stands this season, you can watch their games live streamed on EdTV's YouTube channel. While decreasing the number of students in the stands, Plymouth North instead added a few more supporters in the classroom. Plymouth North has welcomed many new teachers to the Eagle family. Amber and Bailey take a closer look into how these North teachers are adjusting. As a teacher, starting at a new school is stressful. But starting at a new school in the middle of a global pandemic is a whole different story. On January 4th, Mr. Carpenito and Mr. Frioli became two new additions to the Plymouth North staff. Um, so I teach beginner, intermediate, and advanced level ESL classes. So I've taught at three other schools before coming to Plymouth North. I taught at Plymouth South for 13 and a half years. I taught in Bill Ricca at Bill Ricca Memorial High School for three years. And I taught in Brooklyn, New York, where I'm from, at a middle school for two years before moving to Massachusetts. So I teach English. I teach two AP language and composition classes. I teach an American Lit Honors, two American Lit CP1s, and a historical fiction, the senior selection. Coming back from winter break, we were forced to shut down and go fully remote for one week. Mr. Carpenito and Mr. Frioli were immediately thrown into the challenges of remote learning. So I think it was kind of, it was kind of amazing teaching fully remote for a week. And I think it was a, it's a testament to all the technology that we have in place here in school. I feel like, so I started in January um, 4th and I had your traditional kind of hybrid. Then I went to remote and then I went to this 20 minutes. So since I've been here, there's already been three different schedules and now there might be a fourth coming in April, right? So it kind of, um, it's all kind of just shows you that you can be successful, you just gotta um, be adaptable. While we have a few new teachers around the school this year, there's one familiar face that plenty of us know. Mr. Fleck has been at North for the past two years as a student teacher and substitute teacher when needed. However, this year, he is officially a full-time teacher. I think I was prepared during my student teaching. I was, Mr. Tossi really pushed me to um, put grades in, do attendance, um, grade students, do the cards, stuff like that. So I think I was prepared in that aspect and I knew a lot of the students um, from student teaching that I still know now. The teachers face numerous challenges every day with hybrid learning. One of them being not getting the opportunity to form strong connections with other staff members and students. I'm pretty sure none of the English teachers really know what I actually look like, which is so interesting. Um, I wish, right, I could make more connections. I'm a very sociable person. Connections in class are so important regardless of the year. 
And this year, I think it's, it's still possible. It just takes maybe a little bit more time. And we have to be a little bit more creative about how to do that. I think as long as the topics we're studying are interesting and meaningful, um, and there's some Kahoot or Quizlet Live involved, um, we're going to make connections, have some fun, and, and, and learn together. In the in-person, I think the biggest challenge is being able to kind of connect with the students now. Everybody comes into the gym, we have attendance spots, they go and sit there, nobody's talking, it's dead quiet um, in the mornings. The masks, just that connectedness and building that relationship has definitely been a challenge. Welcome to all the new teachers this year. Thank you for joining our school community and learning how to adapt to the hybrid schedule. With all of the challenges and uncertainties this past year has brought us, we appreciate our staff for doing their best to keep us safe. Reporting for PNN, I'm Amber Pastana. Thank you, Amber and Bailey. Our teachers play an important role in the North community and work hard to keep us safe and supported. Now, for this episode's edition of Hall Walking, North students express their individuality with their unpopular opinions. All right, Plymouth North is better than Plymouth South. Let's go, baby. The B movie is a good movie. I don't like pineapple on pizza. <laughs> I don't like chocolate. Spring is the best season. Sushi's overrated. Beyonce's overrated. I think sauerkraut is one of the best foods you can eat. It's awesome. I love it. If we lost electricity, humanity would die off. Plymouth Beach is much better than White Horse Beach. Plymouth Beach is way better than White Horse. It's not even close. Plymouth Beach is superior to White Horse. Stefan over Damon any day. I don't like peanut butter and I think it's disgusting. An unpopular opinion, foods are better than vegetables. Adam Sandler is one of the most unfunny people to ever exist. Lana Del Rey is overrated. White Horse is better than Plymouth Beach. And whoever said Plymouth Beach is better than White Horse, that's a lie. Domino's pasta bowls aren't that good. Chick-fil-A is overrated. Uh, unpopular opinion, seafood is absolutely disgusting. Carrots are an underrated vegetable. My unpopular opinion is that Cars 3 is the best Cars film. LeBron James is not the GOAT. Girl Scout cookies are gross. I like Plymouth Beach over White Horse Beach. Chipotle is better than Moe's. Payday is the best game to ever exist. Plymouth Beach is better than White Horse Beach. Um, my unpopular opinion is that orange juice is better than apple juice. <laughs> Nick Furtado is very underrated. Chipotle is trash. You pour the cereal, then the milk. Pineapple belongs on pizza. We should have a uh, four-day work week and three-day weekend. Mushrooms are good. Beef ramen is better than chicken ramen. Linemen are better than any other position on a football field. Tyler, the creator, is a bad rapper. My unpopular opinion is that regular cheeses are actually better than the extra toasty ones. And I have to say that anything with a squeezy bottle just makes the drink 10 times better. Popcorn's terrible. The kernels get in my gums every time. Honestly, I just can't with the Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Like, for a dollar, I can go to McDonald's, have a great time. Personal opinion, Teddy Wagner here. My unpopular opinion is that Burger King's the bomb. My unpopular opinion is that sleeping with socks on is better than off. My unpopular opinion is that Moe's is better than Chipotle. My unpopular opinion is that The Office is just not funny. Hot dogs aren't sandwiches. Pickles are the best thing in the world. <laughs> dogs are better than cats. Who puts milk in before their cereal? I don't know. I'm lactose intolerant. Juniors, remember SAT Day is approaching on Wednesday, March 24th. If you love the cold weather, this one's for you. Plymouth North Student Council is hosting a polar plunge at Plymouth Long Beach on March 27th. Contact Katherine Tossi for more details. On March 31st at 6.30, there will be a college admissions panel webinar for students looking for assistance with the college search and application process. We have a long weekend coming up. Good Friday is April 2nd, and we hope you take the time to de-stress and be with your family. Seniors, if you want free money, listen up. The Nye Scholarship is a four-year renewable scholarship awarded to Plymouth students where you can get up to $12,000. The scholarship is due to Ms. Scanlon no later than 2 p.m. on Friday, April 2nd. Become a leadership intern at PCIS through Camp Invention from July 12th to July 16th. Contact Ms. Lavin for more information. And that's it for this episode of PNN. Be sure to follow us on all our social media platforms for the latest updates for Plymouth North. 
We have a lot in store for you, Plymouth North, and we'll see you next time.